The hero's path continues in the second Theros set, Born of the Gods. Xenogos plots to usurp godhood, so the stakes of the hero's path have never been higher. Just as in the Theros set, quests 4, 5, and 6 in Born of the Gods take place at pre-release, launch weekend, and game day. This video will trace the section of the hero's path that relates to Born of the Gods, review the contents of the new pre-release pack, and describe how to run the Battle of the Horde challenge. The flavor and theme of the challenges are new, but your experience running the Theros events means they'll be easy and fun to run. The Born of the Gods pre-release gives players their choice of one of five themed pre-release packs with a seated booster. Inside each, players will find six booster packs, three Theros boosters, two Born of the Gods boosters, and one seated booster, also from Born of the Gods. This seated booster contains cards that help build a themed deck, as well as a few other things, including a hero card that's unique to each pack's theme. This hero card, along with the others players earn along their journey, will serve them well when they finally face the Minotaurs in the Battle of the Horde Challenge deck. The players will have a chance to earn another hero card during Quest 5 at the Born of the Gods launch weekend. There, players will need to solve a puzzle hidden in this poster in order to add the next hero card to their collection. Quest 6 takes place at the Born of the Gods game day. There, players will not only compete for the title of game day champion, but they'll take on the Battle of the Horde challenge deck. Although your players don't have to participate in the game day tournament to take on the challenge deck, it's their opportunity to truly be a hero and face down an army of savage minotaurs. Like Face the Hydra from Theros, the Battle of the Horde challenge is self-running, so you'll be comfortable hosting it. However, the challenge's mechanics are a little different. In this challenge deck, players must stand alone, not in teams, so they'll be especially glad to arm themselves with up to three of their hero cards before the battle. Those skilled few who succeed against the Minotaurs will complete Quest 6 and earn their next hero card. Born of the Gods is our most amazing set yet, not just because it continues to expand the myth-filled world of Theros, but because of its pivotal place in the ongoing excitement of the hero's path. This April, watch for our next video, which will reveal the final three quests of the block, Journey into Nyx.